student in previous session we see that how many types of uh, uh, java architectures are there how it works what is enterprise architecture how you can use it in your uh, java application to create any web uh, application then after we discuss about the containers how many types of containers are there and uh, how they are useful to create an application and with what is the main purpose of the container in a web uh, development or web application development then after we discuss about the tomcat as a web container the in in our uh, j2w apply all the applications we use tomcat as an application server so how you can install or how you can see that the tomcat uh, is uh, running on your pc or not uh, that how you verify and how the installation steps so this is all the things we discussed in the previous session now we move on to our jdbc that means jdbc api is java database connectivity generally java database connectivity is the most important api uh, when you create any application that is uh, that is uh, connected with any database so to connect with the database uh, 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 with your application we need uh, some apis uh, so one of the most important api is jdbc java database connectivity so first of all what is jdbc jdbc stands for java database connectivity and it is used to interact with various types of database such as oracle ms access mysql and sql server jdbc is generally a is a one type of uh, uh, interface or uh, uh, which which uh, with the help of this api you can interact or you can communicate with the database you can uh, use any type of database uh, in uh, in your java application uh, they may be oracle they may be ms access uh, mysql sql server then uh, you also can use uh, postgresql or any type of uh, uh, databases uh, for that uh, such uh, different different types of drivers are used and to uh, interact or to communicate with the particular database the drivers are useful for the database connectivity the jdbc standard is defined by sun microsystem and implemented through the standard java.sql interfaces generally we know that when the uh, when you uh, interact with any database connectivity some apis or some packages you uh, must have to import in your application so one of the most important package in database connectivity that is java.sql interfaces this allows individual providers to implement and extend the standard with their own jdbc drivers so this uh, this api provides their own uh, own jdbc drivers to interact with different different database for oracle for mysql or for some different different uh, database uh, drivers are available to connect with the uh, database next is need of jdbc so uh, why we have to use the jdbc api there are also different different apis are there for the database connectivity in in this uh, we we compare jdbc with the odbc so what is the first thing is odbc when the jdbc api is not in picture uh, uh, to to connect with the database odbc is there so odbc defines that open database connectivity so that uh, uh, in open database connectivity you you have to just uh, uh, connect with the database but the, that all the process that uh, to connecting with the database has become tedious and you have to specifically install a uh, individual driver in your uh, local pc for that particular different different databases it means that you you uh, uh, have to work with uh, oracle then you have to separately uh, install your api for that oracle uh, database driver and you have to separately work with the, uh, that uh, uh, database so before api is like uh, jdbc and odbc is there and the database connectivity was tedious 
the main purpose uh, to work with the jdbc is that that you can uh, you have been able to have different application to the different different databases uh, it it doesn't mean that you have to use uh, that particular database for the to run the uh, application it, uh, that you have to specific that oracle or you have to spec uh, you don't have to specify that uh, mysql is compulsory you use you can use any type of database to create and run your application so each database vendor provided a function library for accessing their database and uh, in in odbc uh, that is a di different different uh, uh, functional library uh, you have to install in your uh, local pc or local system to uh, run uh, that application uh, uh, further that the, uh, that library was not free source so you have to purchase that library and uh, uh, then you can uh, work with uh, that uh, database and application if the database vendor changed for the application the data access portions had to be rewritten so in odbc if you change the database uh, vendor then the application that is related with the database vendor that uh, have to be rewritten so you have to just rewrite your code that is connected with the database and data access because all the syntax and the all the things the, that is connected with that particular database uh, is changed so you have to modify all the things and that is then that task becomes very uh, complex uh, then after if the application was poorly structured rewriting its data access might involve rewriting the maturity of the application so if any database or modification is done then you have to rewrite all the uh, all the part which is connected with the uh, database and further if the data is uh, or if the coding are not arranged or, or we can say that uh, that application was poorly maintained then after a whole application you have to construct uh, from start to end so these are the uh, most disadvantages when you work with the odbc open database connectivity while uh, while we think about the jdbc this all the disadvantages or this all the problems uh, uh, we can overcome through the jdbc api so here is the difference between jdbc and odbc so first one that uh, jdbc was introduced by sun microsystem after odbc in 1997 further odbc is there uh, and it is uh, introduced by also microsoft but in 1992 then after some problem phases jdbc was introduced in 1997 JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity and it is compatible with only Java. Uh, uh, it, but obvious that uh, Java Database Connectivity specify that uh, when you uh, create your application in Java, then after you can use uh, JDBC uh, API. So while ODBC uh, stands for Open Database Connectivity and it is compatible with any type of native languages. Then after JDBC is platform independent because it is purely written in uh, Java. So we can say that uh, Java is a platform independent so JDBC API is also platform independent while ODBC is platform dependent because it is uh, uh, it is related to that particular database vendor and that particular languages so uh, we can say that odbc is platform dependent jdbc is purely object oriented type driver so uh, it is a oop concept uh, that uh, we used in our application that must be uh, useful when you access the data in database while ODBC can be a type of procedural, or most of these drivers are developed in native languages like C and C++, which are the procedural types of language. In compared to uh, JDBC, ODBC is uh, uh, ODBC supports POP concept because uh, uh, the main uh, API, or we can say that the particular uh, driver uh, programming is done in nat uh, native uh, languages like C and C++. So the C and C++ are the most basic POP languages. So uh, the concept of ODBC is also uh, procedural types of languages on the other hand performance of jdbc is slower than native odbc but 
it uh, its platform independence allowing to work with any operating system when we compare jdbc with uh, odbc uh, we we see that the performance is uh, uh, slow because you have to convert uh, the old jdbc thing into uh, native languages and then after the driver uh, supports that particular thing uh, which is uh, uh, related with the data access so uh, so the, this whole the process uh, takes some time and the process becomes slower compared to odbc while uh, odbc is uh, written in a uh, uh, native languages so you do not uh, have to uh, this uh, compare uh, this conversion pro process and that uh, uh, that uh, increase uh, the performance of odbc so the performance of odbc is faster as compared to jdbc as the data imports and exports are faster and memory intensive now we move on to jdbc architecture uh, we first see that the different different types of enterprise architecture now we see the uh, jdbc architecture how uh, your java application is interacted with the particular database that is the defined by this architecture so when uh, you come in jdbc architecture there are different different uh, apis are needed or different different uh, uh, we can say that uh, api uh, interfaces are there to or middleware servers are there to connect with the database uh, uh, with application so uh, when uh, uh, we come to the client side there is only just a java application is defined so first one is java application which is connected with the java api through that java or J uh, java api or jdbc api ja is it is connected with that particular driver manager and the driver managers are correct, uh, connected with the different different drivers or jdbc drivers that is uh, dependent on that particular database so uh, these are the different different uh, drivers are available like oracle sql server and uh, odbc data source so this all are the different different database to handle the database one driver uh, is needed that is known by jdbc driver and this all the drivers are maintained by the jdbc driver manager and jdbc driver manager is connected with the jdbc api to handle the uh, this all the uh, manager thing there is the jdbc api and jdbc api is connected with your application java application so this is all the basic structure of jdbc architecture uh, to to simplify this thing we can uh, say that when you uh, when you run any car you just have to uh, see that uh, that uh, there are different different cars or different different brands are available uh, in market and all uh, and uh, in in this uh, different different uh, cars there are different different features are available suppose you uh, run uh, your uh, uh, BMW car then the features are some uh, different from compared to Mercedes and some different ODs and uh, like Ford and any types of uh, car so to access that particular car you have to manage uh, or you have to uh, access that features you have to know about the features of that particular car so to know about the features you need some driver uh, that is uh, uh, understood uh, that uh, understood the whole thing about the car so here is your oracle is uh, we can say that uh, your, your car and to uh, to know about the features and to handle that car you need one driver that is your gdbc driver and to uh, all the maintain of that uh, this different different cars of in, in your uh, showroom you just uh, need one driver manager so uh, the, that is the java driver manager which handles all your different different cars and features and there is the uh, uh, this thing is a process like this way to uh, applic uh, when you uh, create your application for uh, to connect with the database jdbc api is uh, uh, work as a middleware uh, from uh, to the J uh, java driver manager and java driver manager is work as a middleware from uh, the jdbc driver and the jdbc api while the jdbc driver is also work as a middleware from J uh, java driver manager and that particular database so this thing is worked as a uh, to to maintain the thing very easy now 
we see that what is the jdbc architecture and how it works so jdbc architecture describes the interaction of jdbc api with java application and java applet you can co connect with your uh, applet application also with the database access and your any uh, web application or any java application with uh, uh, database through the jdbc api so jdbc api is responsible for transferring data between an application and a database so it works as a uh, middleware or interface from uh, application to the database jdbc api supports two or three tier models for data access as we see in uh, as we uh, see in enterprise architectures there that uh, there are different different types of models are available that uh, there are single tier two tier three tier and n tier architectures are available so jdbc api is also support uh, uh, there uh, there are different different models or there are different different tier models generally it supports two tier and three tier model for the database access Generally, this architecture consists of two layers. That is the JDBC API and JDBC Driver API. JDBC API provides the application to JDBC Manager connection. So, JDB, what is the main task of JDBC API? That to that to maintain the JDBC uh, Driver Manager. While the JDBC Driver API task is that to manage that particular individual driver. connection so this supports the jdbc manager to driver connection then after uh, to handle or uh, to access the data uh, database there are different different components are there uh, in jdbc architecture so first one is driver manager this class manages a list of database drivers matches the connection request from the java application with the proper database driver using communication sub protocol so the driver manager manages that how many types of database drivers are there and when the application creates a request for the data it just match that which database and driver is useful for that data request or which database is used for that data to access that data and to fulfill that request so this uh, this main thing is done by the driver manager and it approach that particular database and maintain that request through when when uh, the request is sent to the database next one is driver this interface handles the communication with the database server and you will interact directly with the di driver objects so driver object is handles all the uh, communication which is done by the database server or the main database so you can directly call on the driver object to uh, disk uh, to access the data third one is connection this interface with all methods for contacting a database the connection object represent communication context like all communication with database is through connection object only but obvious that when you uh, interact or when you communicate with the database first of all you have to create a connection with that database like for example when you want to call your friend then first you have to just dial your number and the when the Uh, connection is established then after you can uh, uh, communicate or you can chit chat with your friend so same procedure is applied in database when you come uh, when you communicate or when you transfer the data from database to application or application to database you first have to establish your connection with the database so without uh, Uh, configuring connection object you can't uh, just uh, uh, fetch the data so connection interface is maintain the uh, uh, maintain the this uh, all the things and it contains different different methods to contacting with the database so this object represent the communication context the whole communication uh, thing is depend on the connection interface 
then after statement in uh, object uh, class is there so use use the objects created from this interface to submit the sql statement to the database so to interact with the database you have to pass your request to the database at the database side the uh, request is sent in form of the statement so there is the statement is, is converted into sql format so it is marked as a query form so this sql statement is useful to pass the request from application to database then after result set the database generate the output or response of the client request and it is stored in result set so this objects hold data retrieved from a database after you execute an sql square sql query using statement object so the query is executed and the uh, output is uh, uh, generated this output is stored in result set so the when the result is declared and the, the uh, that is uh, defined by the result set of that particular query uh, execution done by the database and the last one is sql exception this class handles any errors that occur in database application if any runtime exception is generated uh, with the database that is handled by the sql exception so this uh, all the things are the basic gdbc uh, uh, architecture next we move on to two tier architecture for data access as we uh, see that JDBC supports two tier and three tier architecture for the data uh, base access. So here is the two tier architecture for data access. As we all see in figure that uh, the first uh, uh, there are three different different uh, sorry two different different uh, layers are there. First one is client machine and second one is database server. So at the client side. Uh, Java application is there and there is the JDBC API is also reside at the client machine and at the, at the next side server side there is a database access or DBMS is reside. So to communicate with uh, a database from application there is a DBMS proprietary protocol is used. So using this protocol you can access the database using JDBC API. Java applet or applications directly interact with the database access. You do not need any further thing. You can directly access through the uh, DBMS protocol to access that database and data. Next, we move on to three tier architecture. Here is the three tier architecture for data access. There are three layers are there. First one is client machine. Second one is server machine. And the third one is database server. Uh, there is a slight difference between two tier and three tier architecture for data access. As you see that at the client machine in two tier architecture, uh, Java application and JDBC API are reside. But in three tier architecture, only just client part or GUI part is uh, set as as a client side. So to communicate with the database, there is the business logic is there. And to uh, application server is uh, uh, worked as a middle uh, middleware to uh, between DBMS and uh, client machine. So there is the uh, uh, server machine is there to connect with application in your uh, database. Then after JDBC API is also reside at the application server side. And last one is the database server part. Uh, which is used to connect with that application server in JDBC. So, using client machine, you can communicate with dif different different uh, uh, protocols and interface calls. Uh, you can use to connect with that application server. So, you can use HTTP, RMI, CORBA, and other interface calls or remote calls to connect with that application server. That application server contains business logic of the application. 
which is uh, generally written in java so to interact with uh, that business logic uh, uh, with database there is a dbms proprietary protocol is there so using gdbc api and dbms protocol you can access that uh, data uh, uh, from the database server so uh, the middle level server is uh, used for the uh, control uh, this uh, to control that data access and it is also used to convert that higher level api into lower level api so using the middle uh, uh, middle tier it is uh, very easy to handle this data access from application to uh, database so this is the three tier architecture for data access now we see the different different data types in gdbc so to uh, when you uh, send a request or when application sent a request to access the data from database that that, uh, that request is converted into sql statement so to uh, work with the database the uh, your statement or your the sql query is uh, is uh, matched with the uh, with that particular uh, data types it means that when the result is generated the the data is uh, stored in this type of uh, data types so to fetch the, uh, that data there are supported data types are there in jdbc that uh, that is where care care long where care beat numeric small integer integer beginning integer real float double date and time so there are different different data types sql data types are supported in jdbc and for that different different packages are there or different different classes are available to work with that data types and to set the value and to add the value of the data types uh, there are different methods are there generally they are known as setter and getter method so to access this uh, data of that particular data types uh, so for example you just want to fetch the worker type of data then you can use set string method then for the character set string same method boolean type of value to fetch or to set the value set boolean set big decimal set short set integer set long methods are there so this all are the methods that can uh, you use when you uh, communicate with the database uh, of that uh, 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 in uh, of uh, database with your application now we move on to that uh, there are different different types of uh, drivers are there to connect with that uh, database so here are the types of database driver first of all what is jdbc driver so jdbc driver is a software component or interface that enables java application to interact with the database there are different different database are available and java application is uh, a support to uh, access that different different database so to access that uh, uh, database there are uh, some uh, software is or uh, some middleware is uh, needed so this thing is uh, uh, this thing is uh, defined by the database driver so jdbc driver is in one type of interface that is uh, that, uh, used to communicate with java application to uh, the database database vendor provide a driver along with the database you can uh, when you uh, work with any type of database there is a uh, database driver or database vendor is there so uh, to handle this database vendor database driver is used this database drivers are used to communicate with java programs generally there are four types of database driver first one is jdbc odbc bridge driver second one is native api driver third one is network protocol driver and the fourth one is thin driver so this uh, in the graphical representation is there that the uh, you can use different different types of a database driver using type of one jdbc driver the third party api is there and uh, uh, to co communicate with the database using type 2 jdbc driver there is the native c or c plus plus api is reset and using this you can communicate with the database 
and the uh, uh, type 4 gtbc driver using network api you can directly communicate with the database and type 3 gtbc driver is connected with all these different different types of uh, database driver and using this uh, drivers you can communicate with uh, uh, either api or either native api or either using network protocol to connect with the database so this is the basic scenario of different types of database driver.